Perfect. See, the weather breaks and the wildlife comes out. Paul is going to love this. Ah, oh, it's a beauty. In the words of a very good friend of mine, we got dinner. Well, you know what goes really well with grouse? Rose hip. And this is a beautiful bush of rose hip. What I like about this season is some of the hips themselves will be hard and can be used one way, and some of the hips will be soft. And when they're soft, ah, you can eat them right away. Oh yeah, grouse and rose hips. Let's see if Paul can deal with that. Fruits like this, berries, that this time of year, right after an overnight frost, they sweeten right up, they soften, in the case of rose hips, and in other berry situations, like say, um, like a high bush cranberry or mountain ash, they sweeten after the evening frost. So you really wanna have some patience and wait for that frost to hit. Now, I know it seems like I am able to get out to a lot of great remote locations to find these wild edibles. There's just tons of rose hips here. But in fact, I'm a short drive down a dirt road and I'm right at the edge of the road. Kevin, show him the road. I easily could have canceled my wild harvesting today because this morning was, it was raining, everything was gray. Uh, I knew that I would come out here and I'd be having to wear my jackets and I would get wet and it would be muddy, but I went for it anyway because I know that the forest is beautiful no matter what the weather is. You know the only difference between whether or not you're comfortable in the wilderness or not? Good clothing, that's it. Good, sound clothing and you can come out in the wilderness and enjoy all of its nuances. It's a great place to be no matter what the weather.